Hey guys, welcome back uh, to Almost Inimitable Design. My name is still PK and I make WordPress tutorials for designers and developers. So we are back. Um, it's been a while since my last recording because a lot of stuff has happened and it took me a while to sort this out. Okay. All right. So, um, well, cause it's simply put, um, what's going on here is this kind of layout is a little hard to do if you want to edit just the things inside uh, the product grid. Okay, I'll show you what I mean and we'll get into it. All right, so um, I was 16. <laughs> yeah, daughter drew that. Anyways, um, timer is at 13 13 let's start all right cool <clears throat> okay now let's see if we go to the single product that we just built in the last lesson uh, on the bottom we have this list of related products right now we would like to make this grid of related products look like this grid, right? Of course, four across, four columns, uh, but still this one, this this image, right? Like not image, this, this card, I call it a card or item, grid item, blog item, grid item, card, I call it card. Anyway, so this, the, these cards, uh, it would be great if we can get that in here. Now, I've looked through pretty much everything and also I've looked at the front end, all right? And if you look at the front end, it's a little hard to get this layout because what you need to do is you need to get that guy, that guy, the big box, as the main wrapper and then inside well that needs to be a uh, relative position and then the text and the buttons here uh, inside that should most likely be uh, absolute position all right so it's either one or the other has to be absolute positioned okay and this does not seem like it would be a great way to do it because as you can see inside one uh, one item, one card, you have two separate blocks. So even if even if you could get even if you could write CSS and get these guys, the H2 and the price, the uh, yeah, the title and the price to overlap on the product image with um, uh, absolute positioning, for example, right? So, Let's see, let me, let me show you what I mean. So this guy, this guy will have um, relative position. That's where the absolute position takes its uh, uh, y-axis and x-axis from. Uh, and that means if we, for example, take this guy, uh, make it position absolute, uh, color white. Yeah, so it goes up there, right? For example, and, and then um, I'll just do the same for this guy. Position absolute uh, color white. Oh, it, it has more stuff inside. Oh well, color white, red. Ah, uh, has more stuff inside. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that. Anyways, uh, so. <clears throat> That's what we have here. We can sort of put this, like for example, um, bottom uh, three rem and it'll be there. Uh, left one rem and that's what you can do, right? And then of course you can use a pseudo element and get that uh, color overlay there and it'll look like this guy, which is fine until you realize that the button cannot do that, all right? Technically, if you push this button up, if you push it up uh, with like uh, negative margins, which is not a good idea, uh, or uh, just positioning up, 
Oh, wow. iOS, iOS 16 is different. Wow, look at that. That's that's interesting. All right. Anyways, um, I, I just installed 16 like a few, like last week or whatever. And then, yeah. Anyways. Um, so, yeah, that's that's hard to put on. That's hard to superimpose on top of that image. Right. So what we're going to do is something that I think is really, really, really cool about breakdance. Um, and I heard other builders do that as well. Some builders do that as well, but pretty much Breakdance does this and I really like that fact about it. Um, in Oxygen, I would just write PHP and I wouldn't care. But here, what we're gonna do, and I think this is really cool, um, global blocks, all right? Now I've already tried this, as you can see, there's this testing here, uh, but I'm gonna add a global block and we're gonna call this um, product card I call it a card um, and here we go all right so we're gonna edit and remember we're gonna try to oops 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 we're gonna try to do something like this okay so we're gonna make a div that will do that okay all right we'll start with a div that's a div okay it's a div all right and we add an image all right so Okay, now this image has to be dynamic. It has to take, um, because we're gonna put this inside a loop, all right, a query. And that query is gonna pick up all the products and display it. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to uh, get this image URL from a dynamic data, okay? And product image. Cool, that's good. So now we have a product image near. Okay, cool. Let's um, preview it as the Audi or what do we got here? Oh, the GTR. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. All right. And so this is just inside the div, right? Uh, let's add the title. That should be a heading, right? It could be an H2, it could be an H1, it really doesn't matter because as long as um, uh, semantic HTML is there, uh, you can have a section and you can have H1s inside the section. It works, it's fine. WordPress does that by default. Uh, so that's fine, we can use an H1, but um, H2 puts people's minds at ease a little more. So <laughs> we'll do an H2. And we'll add the price. Let's add text. Yep. And find if we can see find the price. Product price. And there we go. Cool. Yeah. Is there anything else that we prepend? Put in front. Let's put a is this is that just a number? Yeah, just a number. We'll put a dollar sign in front. There we go. Nice. All right, let's save that for now. So we have the image, we have the text, and we have the price. Uh, what else do we need? We need the check it out button, right? So let's add a button. Ah, yeah, that's our regular button, right? All right, let's add check it out. And the link. Now this is one thing that, I've, oh, sorry, not that link. Sorry, dynamic link. The dynamic ones are the ones that look like a stack of coins because that's what a database looks like. I don't know, I think that's why. Uh, now one thing that I've noticed here is that you can't actually link directly to a product post. It doesn't say product link because uh, these products are also uh, posts. So we'll just add a post permalink and it'll still work, okay? Because we don't wanna to go to the product image, you know, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So that works. Cool. All right, save that. And that's good. Now, if we want to, we can add, 
we can probably put these guys in its own little um what is it uh a div and put an overlay there so inside here let's see if we can add a div yep add the heading the text and the button in there and on top there we go cool now this div we'll look for position and it will be absolute and you can see it's right there so because the over the parent div this guy number 100 that is relative so anything that is absolute inside there will move accordingly okay so uh, we want this to be 100 percent, 100 percent, so it'll fit exactly on top of the image and then we'll give it a background and then we'll um, place the text where we need to okay all right so let's see what else we got with should be a hundred and height should be a hundred hundred okay cool all right and what else we got we need to let's add some padding right because this has padding you see that all right so that padding size is uh 30 so that will be 1.5 rem five apply all cool all right and let's let's get the layouts done over here on the bottom yep it's all good we'll give it some gaps like one rim yep all good that is good let's give this text some color make it white Let's give this guy some color. Nope, not size, color. Make it white. Cool. Maybe size. Yeah. Um, not the width. The font size. What's the font size here? Um, all right. So that that H two should be forty two, and that should be twenty four. Okay. Twenty four means one point two. That should be 42, so 2.1. Cool. All right, save that. Uh, let's give this guy a background, and hopefully we can get some done. All right. Oh. Can't see anything now. Uh, what's the percentage on this? Let's look at that. Percentage is 40. All right, I don't know what 40 is in hex, so I'm just gonna pull it down to somewhere around a little below uh, half. And that that little icon, that little icon, that's on hover. So on hover, we're gonna make it zero. Okay. Cool. Hopefully that works. Ooh. You see that? Yeah. Works. Cool. Now we got our element. All right. Now, a couple of things we could do is we could pretty much add. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we can probably add like a max width so it doesn't go over a certain size. It really doesn't matter because we're going to drop this in the grid. Okay, I'm going to use like two more minutes. I'm going to show you the grid because it is very impressive. All right, so we're, we're going to save this. Just bear with me for a second here. Um, exit to WordPress. Cool. We're going to go directly to the archive. Okay, because we I just want to show how to drop this in. Okay, all right. Like I said, just a few minutes. Just bear with me. Uh, we're going to add. <clears throat> Let's add a section 
cool. And then we're going to add, if we add, for example, a product list, it will look like that, which is not what we want. So add something else. We're going to add in dynamic post loop builder. And we're going to assign a global block as the product card. And there we go. Okay. Now, um, we can check the query. All right. The query has to work. Uh, right now it's at posts. We're going to make sure that is not post is products and eight per page. How many, whatever you can do all that offset means the latest one, skip the latest one or whatever. If you need to, I'll leave this as is for now because it's not important. The number that kind of stuff is not important, but there we go. All right. Now, Oh yeah, this is uh, right. Sorry. <laughs> That's why it knew what the query was. Sorry. We're in the, yeah, we're there. All right. If, if we do this on a page, sorry, uh, exit to WordPress. Yeah. So if we do it on a page and I've done it on a page, that's why I, that's why I know. Yeah. So same thing works. If we do it on this page, then that's what we can get. All right. So, here is a custom query loop and we I'll change the global block to product card. And as you can see, the query is custom query is for products. Okay. Um, luckily, thankfully they told me that it's, we don't need to do that because this is an archive page. So there we go. Um, all we need to do now because the archive pages have their query assigned. Okay. So, um, all we need to do now is to get this layout to look like, um, not a list. No, 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 no. Grid, 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 grid. And three per row like this. We probably need to change the spacing here, but that should be good. Right. Space between we'll change that to one should be good. Cool. So that means if we go to, if we go to the shop, um, there we go. All right, so we got that working and all that. We'll sort of tweak the rest of it to do what we wanted to do um, in the next lesson. So I'll see you there, okay?